Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. Um, okay, so you know how with kids we have to repeat ourselves because they are people in training. Kids are people in training, right? They are adults in training. That's what they are. They're, you get it, right? So constantly use your fork, use your fork, sit up, sit up, get your shoes, find your shoes, put your shoes on. Like, you know, it's repetition because we want them to learn things. With children, there's an expectation that we will have to do this, constantly repeat ourselves over and over again. But what about when it's adults? When somebody does something that you don't like and you constantly feel the need to repeat yourself about the behavior, when it becomes, it's no longer reminding, right? It's, it's almost berating them. The issue is no longer with them. The issue is with you. If you constantly are repeating yourself, you are either trying to shame that person or you don't trust them. You don't trust whatever parameters are in place for your relationship, whatever boundaries you have set or not set. Um, you don't trust them, so you're constantly reminding them. Um, this will destroy you. This behavior will destroy you. It, it's not effective. Like, I think if somebody did a study on whether constantly reminding someone or repeating yourself about a certain behavior stopped the other person from doing it, um, I would think that most likely they actually will continue the behavior more so because they know you're trying to shame them or that you don't trust them. See, here's the thing. When somebody comes and says, I've hurt you and I'm sorry, and I want another chance, I want to be your friend or I want to be your lover and I want to make it right. But you continually berate them or remind them or repeat yourself over and over about the behavior, about warnings, right? Um, it doesn't have the desired effect on adults the way it does on children. Adults start to feel shame. They go, wow, like, she or he or she is never going to get over this. They're never going to let me live it down. So what is the point in trying to do the right thing? Like we want Noah from the notebook, right? We want to berate somebody and constantly be in their face, reminding them of their infractions, right? And we want Noah. We want the ride or die guy or girl. We want the one that says, you can just keep shaming me and berating me and reminding me of my mistakes and I will just keep loving you and proving myself to you. That's not real, folks. That is not real. That's why it's on television. I guarantee if Ava Mendez was berating Ryan Gosling over and over and over again, he would either do it again or leave. And there would go Noah right out the door. Adults, it's really very simple. The action is simple. I'm not talking about the sentiment. I'm not talking about rebuilding trust. I'm talking about the action. You've hurt me. You've done something I don't like. You've, you've broken a boundary, whatever it is. Here's what it is. And here's what I need you to do to make it right. You've got to then trust the process. You've got to then trust that this person who says they want to be your friend or wants to be your lover or whatever is going to work the steps with you, is going to go through the process with you. Shaming them or constantly belittling them, bringing it up, reminding them, berating them does not work in adults. It will push them away. I have so many letters from people who say, my girlfriend, I trusted her with something and she betrayed my trust. And I don't know how to trust her again, but I don't know life without her. She's my best friend. So, and she's, I want to make it, I want to stay friends with her, but I, I'm having a hard time trusting her. So every time I tell her anything, I'm constantly reminding her not to say anything, not to say anything, not to say anything. Now, listen, all girls do this. All right. I'm going to tell you something, but you can't tell anyone. 
right? That's like a disclaimer we all say. But when you constantly berate somebody, when you constantly remind them that they are not trusted, it puts them in a space where they don't want to fight as hard. You've got to trust the process. And if you can't, if you can't trust the process, if you find yourself this person standing in that space where you constantly are berating someone or repeating yourself over and over and over again, you got to end it for your own sanity, not for them, for you, the relationship, the friendship, whatever. If it's, if there's been enough healthy time and you still find yourself unable to let go, you've got to end it because you will drive yourself insane and you will end up driving that person away. And if that is not the desired effect, if you truly want to be with this person, you've got to trust the process. And if you can't, then maybe you don't really want them in your life. You just want to know that you're worth it, that somebody would make the effort to fight for you. And let me tell you something, the right person will. You don't need to berate the wrong person into making the effort to fight for you. You don't. I swear to you, you don't. Turn your light off for that person. Let them get out of your cab and then turn your light back on and get back out there. The right person will come and you will not have to shame them or belittle them or remind them into respecting you. I promise you. Okay. I love you so much today. Have a great day. It's the first day of summer.